like this video within the next five seconds or NBA 2K21 on current and next gen will have the same price as NBA 2K19 and 20. I would not risk it. I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got Tiffany the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitch is. Yo, 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 Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> yo, what's up with the YouTube? It's your boy, Fizz, back in the video yet. Another video today, I got y'all with the best animations for every build at the end of NBA 2K20. So in this video alone, this video alone, y'all know how we go for these videos. So, in this video, I'm going to go over the best jump shots, the best dribble moves, the best dunks, the best layups, the best big man animations. So, that's post scoring. I'll give y'all the best dribble pull up, the best hop jumper. I'll give y'all pretty much anything 2K can even offer you. Even from the park dunks, park alley-oops, park layups, park animations in general. But I'll give you guys literally everything in one video now this video is going to be a little bit different from the other one i'm not going to bull y'all today you know what i said i'm gonna give you guys pretty much almost one animation pretty much for a lot of this stuff and i'm gonna give you by far the best i'm not gonna be giving you double i'm gonna give you by far the best i'm not gonna be going from glitchy this and that and the third i'm gonna be giving you guys what i use what i switch it between and stuff like that so yeah man um that's pretty much what this video is gonna be so yeah i'm gonna have timestamps and stuff like that per usual so if you guys want to just skip ahead to a certain point of the video you can do that you know what i'm saying that's probably what i would do if i was searching that video to find animations so i understand but yeah man without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into it all right before we go too far into this video I want to make sure that I go over this, bro. We've been going so crazy with the subs, the views, the likes, everything. But somehow still 95% of y'all that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed. Hit that sub button for me. Y'all know I be going crazy. Hit that sub button for me. All right, so first things first, we're going to get this joint out the way first. So we're going to go with the best jump shots in the game. So. Best jump shot in the game. Hands down whether you're using a build that can't get Hall of Fame, a build that can get Hall of Fame. And if I'm talking about a build that can't get Hall of Fame, if I'm using Quick Draw, I'm only going to be going with Silver Quick Draw. So this is the best jump shot in the game for pretty much any Quick Draw besides Bronze and no Quick Draw because that's gonna be too slow for this shot, jump shot. I got other jump shots for you also. But yeah, this is the best jump shot in the game, Stefan. Curry, if you want a jump shot that's going to be green, easy to green, using meter, no meter, Steph Curry is the best jump shot in the game. All right, next, another good jump shot. Zach Levine is another good jump shot you can use for builds with Hall of Fame to silver quick draw. I wouldn't go below silver quick draw with this build because it's going to be a little too slow. But yeah, it's very easy to time for the green because all you got to do is just wait till it gets to its highest point and just let go, especially if you're using no meter. Now, if you're using meter, I wouldn't really use, this is not one of those I would use with meter, but yeah, it's definitely another really, really good jump shot you can use. All right, next is going to be Trey Burke. Trey Burke is a really, really good jump shot for not only just spot ups and lockdowns, but you can also use it on guards. Um, I don't like using it on Hall of Fame quick draw, but I know a lot of people do that. But silver quick draw on this is probably the best. Tyson was like the final founder of this. He's been using it for years and he uses it on silver quick draw this year. So yeah, Trey Burke is another very, very good jump shot in the game. All right, next is going to be the best jump shot at Hall of Fame quick draw. And that's going to be jump shot 98. This is by far the best jump shot in the game at Hall of Fame quick draw. Another one would be Dwayne Wade, which is pretty much the same thing. In this game, there's a lot of animation packages that are literally the exact same thing. It's just faster or it just has a different release, like for these two. But yeah, um, the best Hall of Fame jump shots in the game is 98 and Dwayne Wade, but they're literally the same thing. So just put on 98. If you don't like 98, use Dwayne Wade, but they're the same thing. All right, next, the next best jump shot besides Steph Curry for nine Hall of Fame users would be Jump Shot 38. This is what the 
pretty much every comp player uses if they're not using a build that has Hall of Fame. So if you're talking about a two-way slashing playmaker, a slashing playmaker, anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Those are like the most popular builds, like a facilitating finisher. Those are like the most popular builds that don't get Hall of Fame shooting. So yeah, Jump Shot 38 is most likely the jump shot they're gonna be using. Like for play glasses, two-way slashing playmaker, playmaking slashers, all that type of stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much what they're gonna be using. All right, next, this is gonna be probably the most underrated jump shot in the game. And this is literally strictly for people that don't use meter. In my opinion, this is one of the most easiest time jump shots to use in this game. I don't know why I haven't really, tr really talked about this more. But yeah, man, Kevin Durant's jump shot in this game is so underrated, man. It's so easy to green, especially if you don't use meter. Um, so yeah, if you haven't tried Kevin Durant's jump shot this year, go ahead and try that joint out. But yeah, if you guys want more secret jump shots, go ahead and watch my top 10 secret jump shots where I literally went over every jump shot in the game for that video so yeah if you haven't seen that already go check that out all right next we got you guys with the best free throw in the game i'm not gonna waste your time with multiple best free throw in the game is free throw 38 all right next is the best park landing so we got five of these actually we got five of these so the puppet very very good it's just like you're getting puppeteered i guess you're getting i don't really know how to explain it but yeah it's a really really good one the wave you're doing like a wave coming out of your jump shot very very smooth that's really why i like it peekaboo i like to use that for my non-shooting builds so like when people leave me wide open it's like peekaboo i can shoot nigga. like you gotta guard me and then we got suns out guns out that's one of the most popular ones in the game also like peekaboo and then we got another one walking on the moon there's just another really really smooth one just like the first two so yeah i really like smooth ones and peekaboo i really just use because i like to do that jump but i can't shoot when my build's not supposed to be able to shoot and i just get a green and it just catch them off guard so yeah man those are the best jump shot landings in the game in my opinion i think for all of these you actually have to be a 93 overall so if you're not a 93 overall that's tough all right next we're moving on into the shot creator animations the best dribble pull up in the game so um we got i believe we have 40s yeah, we have 40. So the first one we're gonna go over is normal. I was using this doing the prelude and I was and I just kept using it after and it's really really actually really really easy to green with I don't know why I don't use it but yeah it's kind of like curry where it's really really smooth so yeah you can't go wrong with normal or curry but yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go over curry too so don't worry about that but yeah normal very very smooth pull up and fade so yeah all right next for the dribble pull-ups we got the best fade in the game not not for the dribble pull-up but for the fade like if you're doing pull-up jumpers with this you tripping but when it comes to the fade the best fade in the game is number four hands down not even like a question hands down like you do go the furthest it's the easiest to time so yeah i had to put this joint out here strictly because it's the best fade in the game all right next for the dribble pull-ups another one is going to be the best dribble pull-up or the best pull-up would be athletic too so yeah um it actually has like a kind of like a kobe mj type fade so yeah if you really really mess with that go ahead put on that athletic too so all right next just like i was saying with the normal but more like probably the most well-rounded dribble pull up package in the game is going to be stephen curry very very smooth very very easy to get off um pretty much all of curry's shot creator animations are pretty much gonna be on this list so stay tuned for that but yeah stephen curry dribble pull up probably the most balanced well-rounded smoothest dribble pull-up package in the game all right next we got the spin jumper so we only got two of these to go over so the first one we're gonna go over is normal normal is actually a really really good well-rounded one so i'm not gonna put on 9 10 and 11 like i always do but yeah 10 you can or not 10 but normal you can literally do it to catch people off guard but the most reason why this is on here is because they had that little glitchy one where you can do like a spin away and then like you shoot it backwards and it's like most likely green but yeah like it's really 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 actually a really good spin jumper so you really can't go wrong with using another good spin jumper is stephen curry strictly on here because how smooth it is how easy it is to green and how consistent it is so yeah stephen curry is another good spin jumper that you can use all right next i got you guys with the best hop jumpers in the game so we only have three of these joints to go over so the first one we're gonna go over is probably the most glitchiest the most broken one in the game is the bunny hop hop jumper now this is like low-key the most unrealistic hop jumper in the game it's been in the game for years i don't know why 2k hasn't taken it out but yeah literally what a lot of people like to do they they don't even have shooting builds and they use this joint just to be able to take people angles with 
and it's just that easy to take angles on this game with space creator and yeah you can just spam the bunny hop and just take angles with it but yeah you can also shoot off of it and get really really open because of how big the, the hop is but yeah number 14 probably the best hop jumper in the game all right next is another hop jumper normal 21 normal 21 is a very very good hop jumper because how quick it is it's very easy to tumble in and out of and get out of animations like bad animations just do a hop out of it so yeah normal 21 is really the best one for like dribble combos and if you really would just want a really really fast hop jumper and then last but not least for the hop jumpers hands down the best hop jumper in the game when it comes to versatility for how many different animations you can get in this because you can get the curry james harden behind the back you can get the james harden double step back you can do all different types of animations with this one package so yeah for that alone it's the by far the most versatile hop jumper in the game and that will be normal 19 so yeah man those are the three hop jumpers those are the two spinning jumpers and those are the four dribble pull-ups those are all the ones that you if you're using anything in this game that's what you need to be using all right now moving into the dunks now usually when i go over the dunks i give you guys like two two-handing or three two-handing three one-handing but no we're just gonna give you guys the best dunks in the game not none of that so first one we're gonna go over is by far probably one of the most broken dunk packages in the game and it's baseline reverses off two so i'm honestly kind of regretting giving y'all that the last time but yeah this is by far the best one in the game so if you're talking about doing baseline reverses this is the only one you need you don't need anything else to be honest if you want to go baseline the cheesy baseline on this game use baseline reverses off two and it's almost going to be a dunk every single time up next probably the best well-rounded one hand dunk package in the game that's athletic one handers off one very very well rounded from how fast it is how quick it is how unblockable it is with how flashy it is so yeah athletic one handers off one you really cannot go wrong with that at all all right next is going to be the best dunk package for pretty much like hop step dunks and stuff like that if you want to have the quickest the fastest hop dunks in the game go ahead put on fist pump rim pulls this is probably the best hop step dunks because when i do hop step dunks i do two hand dunks every single time more than likely so yeah hop hop step dunks best ones in the game fist pump rim pulls easily next the most unblockable the best two hand dunks in the game if you don't ever want to get blocked go ahead put on front clutches you don't even have to worry about putting on a different two hand dunk at that point when you have this joint on. so yeah man front clutches best two hand dunk in the game you're not gonna get blocked it's very very simple easy yeah so yeah all right next another one that's really really popular is straight on tomahawks now for me there's only one animation i want out of this all the other ones are trash to me but yeah that one animation where you're just going straight to the goal quick dunk that's the one i want but yeah all the other ones i can miss so that's why i really rather the athletic one hand is off one but that one animation really really does it for me so yeah i have to have it on and all right last but not least one of the most un underrated unblockable dunk package in the game is windmills off one i've used this for a couple weeks now and it's i probably got blocked two times or three times man this is actually really really good dunk package man you can use the windmill to the right it's gonna be really hard to block you from the right if they come at you from the left because if you if i'm doing dunks i'm doing right hand left hand when they i'm trying to not i'm doing my best not to get blocked and it's actually really really freaky too so you know i like that so yeah man windmills off one one of the best dunk packages in the game all right next i got you guys with the best alley-oop in the game this is literally going to be like the pretty much like the guard one the pro one is really more for like big men that's why it has a lot of standing dunks in it this one is really for like the guards now to get this you do have to have an 85 driving dunk so more than likely more guards are gonna have the pros but with that being said the elite alley -oop is still the best one in the game because at the best it has self alley -oops, regular alley -oops. It has a lot of stuff in this one package so yeah and it makes it the best a little package in the game all right next the best contact dunk packages in the game now if you want to get more contact dunks you want to put on every contact dunk possible that you have because that's going to be able to get you animation for every single situation that you're going to be in that low-key rhyme let me chill out though let me chill out but yeah um the pro contact dunks have some of the rarest dunks in it because the pro contact dunks has seven minutes worth of animations in this one package 
Now the Elite is probably the best package alone because it has some of the craziest, the nastiest, the freakiest animations all in this one package. Because it's only two minutes and 30 seconds, so they tried to put like the best animations they possibly had. But when it comes to like animation where like you're walking over him or you dunking on him and he act like he finna get up and beat your ass and you just start running, that's all in the pro. So there's a lot of rare ones in the pro, but with that being said, there's a lot of okay ones in the pro. Most likely, more than likely than not, if you're getting one out of a elite, you're gonna be like, whoa, every single time. So yeah, those are the two best contact dunk packages in the game. To get these, you obviously have to have an 85 or an 84 driving dunk. All right, next I got you guys with the best park dunks in the game. So we got Dunkenstein, Insanity, Skywalker, and Game Time. Game Time is probably like a combination of all of these, except for the Skywalker, where it has pretty much all the, pretty much, all the park dunks in one package so it has like your 360 between the legs behind the back all type of crazy stuff in that one package the skywalker if you haven't seen it before it literally has like strictly self alley oops in but they're not like you're doing double y or double triangle you're literally just going for regular dunks and it's doing self alley oops to you now you can obviously only do any of these packages at the park now duncan stein i believe duncan stein is the one that yeah duncan stein is the one that's really strictly here for like between the legs and stuff like that and then you got insanity that's really mainly here for like the behind the back dunk so yeah man those are the four best park dunks in the game all right next i got you guys with the best alley-oops in the game so we got two of these jordan kill gannon alley-oop and park alley-oop 2 park alley-oop 2 in my opinion just got a little bit better it's a little bit better than jordan kill gannon but both of these are very very crazy freak and then when it comes to a park dunk alley -oop. i want it to be the craziest the nastiest animation possible you know what i'm saying like if i'm at the park i want to be going crazy now it depends on if i'm trying to go on a long streak or if i'm just trying to play for fun but if i'm trying to play for fun i want the craziest freakiest nastiest animation i can get possible park alley -oop 2 is gonna have that just a little bit better but when it comes to the jordan kill again if you've seen his dunk package it's pretty much the same thing, but it's alley -oop, So it's gonna be just that much crazier because you're gonna be higher and stuff like that. But yeah, man, you can't go wrong with either of these two. So yeah, those are the two best park alley -oops in the game. All right, moving away from the dunk packages, moving towards the best layer package in the game. Best layer package in the game. I went over this in the badge video by far. If they patched it, it would be a little bit more balanced on the layer packages, but by far the best layer package in the game is Long Athlete. Not only does it have those crazy animation where you get straight to rim but it is by far the best layer package in the game for hot sets now the closest one is jordan not jordan but jamal crawford but long athlete it's just so quick and you get so much distance with it and you combine it with a bro you combine this with fantasy football it's not even remotely fair so yeah man long athlete has to has to be the best layer package in the game all right next let's go over park layers really really quick the only park layer we have package in the game is playground i would probably think that 2k is going to expand on this because like when they first introduced like park dunks park alley they they expanded on it ever since they've introduced it so i'm guessing they're going to expand on this next year if they put this back into the game but playground literally is strictly here because people was begging and begging and begging for years for years to put in the jelly layer packages and stuff like that so what they did they just pretty much made an entire park layer package strictly of jelly layups so yeah that if you wonder if there is a jelly layer package in the game yes it's called the playground you know what i'm saying and it's only can be used at the park all right next moving more towards the best dribbling animations in the game so first thing we're going to talk about is the best dribble style so for me personally i want to be dribbling low to the ground because i don't want to get ripped if you're lower to the ground it's going to be harder to get ripped now if you're dribbling high close to your shoulder at your hip that's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit easier to, to get ripped in my opinion that's just the way i want to play now if you want to just if you don't care about that go with quick quick is the best one in the game if you're not really worried about going low to the ground but yeah shifty shifty in my opinion is the best dribble style in the game because it's gonna be low to the ground and it's gonna be do, giving you all the stuff that quick is going to be doing all right next we got the size of packages now we got four of these joints for you pro 2 and curry pretty much the same thing kobe Bryant and the ai now i'm gonna be going over what differences between the two so kobe and curry those are like the ones with the the best like rhythm dribble but when it comes to pro 2 and Allen iverson of those two those are going to be like the faster dribbling animations. So you're going to be dribbling faster with those size of packages. So if you're like a dribbler, 
I would go with Pro 2 or AI. If you're trying to pick between these four, I would go with Pro 2 or AI. Now, those are different, but like Pro 2 and Curry and AI and Kobe, those are similar. Those two, if it's grouped up like that, those are similar. But if you are like a sharp, or a shot creator or something and you're not really and you're just trying to look to get a bucket use Kobe or Curry you know what I'm saying it's that simple now Curry has kind of get, gotten out of hand with how people just really want to go side to side and side to side I really do understand that but like if I'm being honest 2k20 wasn't the greatest game from a lot of standpoint but as we did play it they took out the behind the back and stuff like people did learn how to dribble a lot better in this game but yeah, man, those are the best size-up packages in the game. All right, next, the best moving crossovers in the game. So we got Normal 1 and Pro 2. So for um, both of these joints, you really cannot go wrong with either of the two. But I'm going to go over what you want to use these for. So for Normal 1, that's going to be really more towards, like, the people that's, like, trying to play like Steezo, really trying to go crazy with the dribbles and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to those people, they really like to use a lot of different sigs. But when it comes to the best dribbling, dribbling sig for a crossover, I would say normal one. Now, the best one for like doing dribble glitches, stuff like that, and the most popular moving, moving crossover in the game is probably Pro 2. But you normal one is really, really good too. Like it's really, really good to dribble in and out of. A lot of people don't know. Uh, some For some reason, people don't know that. But a lot of people do. I would say a lot of people do. But yeah, man, that is the best moving crossover in the game all right next coming at you guys with the best behind the back so we got pro 5 and pro 3 i've been really practicing with some new ones but pro 3 and pro 5 are best. definitely the best one pro 5 is really like a really really balanced one pro 3 i use more for when i'm trying to rim run or if i'm doing momentum behind the backs a lot and stuff like that so yeah i like to use pro 3 when i'm trying to dribble more when I'm trying to get my drill bag, Pro 5, I can use that on any build, really. Like, even if I'm on a slash, even if I'm on a sharp, it doesn't really matter what I'm really doing with Pro 5. So, I would probably say Pro 5 is the better one. But if I'm, like, playing for fun, trying to get to the rim, get some content on, it's like crazy, I'm using Pro 3. Up next, I got you guys with the best moving spins in the game. So, we got Pro 4 and Basic 1. So, best one in the game to me is Pro 4. But, like, if it comes to the spin backs, there's a lot of different ones you can use for spin back. But the most popular spin back is the one in Basic 1 where you pretty much just fling your player back so if you want to do that spin back go ahead use basic one but if you just want a moving spin just to have a moving spin put on pro four all right next moving to the moving hesitation so we got pro one pro three and pro eight pro eight if you want to be able to do the if you've seen people like spamming the hezzy that's probably gonna be pro eight you know what i'm saying like they're going around the court just keep doing that hezzy especially on the 1v1 court this is really really utilized a lot at the 1v1 court so yeah, pro, pro pro eight really really good for like be able to spam it, but that's not the way I play. I like to use pro three because that's gonna get you the quickest quick stop, be able to shoot easier. Because I like to shoot, you know what I'm saying. On this game, I like to shoot because a lot of people don't really like to shoot on a shoot non shooting builds. I like to shoot on my non shooting build, so I use pro three. Pro one is probably the best, the quickest one when it comes to like all the all the above, like trying to be able to dribble trying to be able to get open for threes trying to be able to rim run it's probably the quickest hezzy too so yeah pro one is really really good but when it comes to the best moving hezzy in the game i would say pro three is because of how easy and how fast the quick stop is on pro three and all right next the best triple threat style in the game is normal at four literally best one in the game you can do like the jordan pump fake with it you can do like the signature size up out of it like i don't know what they call it it's like a rhythm dribble out of it that you can do like if you didn't know the triple threat styles have rhythm dribbles you can do in them it's a lot of stuff in these that i didn't know but yeah that you can do out of these but yeah now i know and normal four is the best all around triple threat style in the game and all right next we got you guys with the best big man animations in the game so for the best big man animations we got you guys with the best jump shots post move animations the best dunks the best dribble moves the best layups pretty much everything all over again but for the big man but it's gonna be way quicker so yeah um first thing we're gonna go over is the best jump shot for big man hands down is curry if you using a jump shot curry is the best thing like even if you're a guard even if you're a lot down it doesn't really matter what you're on curry is gonna be the best jump shot for you i'm telling you that right now especially if you have a long wingspan curry is the best jump shot in the game up next the best dunk package in the game is under basket regular if you don't know you got two other ones like the rim hang and the athletic flushes regular is the least 
likely to get dunked because how simple it is and how quick it is so yeah under basket regular is pretty much the only dunk package you really need to be worried worried about on the big man side up next by far the best alley-oop package in the game is pro alley-oop this was pretty much almost strictly made for big man so i don't really know why they made it i feel like they should have gave guards and big men they should have probably did it like how they did the content of the game like the big men their own alley-oop package gave the guards one for 75 and they should have the elite one at 85 still but yeah um pro it had this is the only one in the game that has like standing dunks into it like elite has like a couple but it's nowhere near as many as pro because they knew pro was going to be more likely that big men could actually get it so yeah pro alley-oops is if you were looking for an alley-oop package that's going to have a lot of standing dunks and stuff like that pro alley-oops is the one for you up next is the best contact dunks for big men this is going to be literally the big man contact dunks i didn't even notice until like literally i started making them contact dunk videos where i like show you guys every contact dunk in the game Big man content dunks actually have driving content dunks, but obviously the reason it's on the list is because it has standing content dunks. So that's gonna be the ones you most likely get. More than likely, big men don't even usually ever even get to see the driving ones. Now this year I've actually made a couple big men that were undersized and I got it a lot, but most likely you're not making a six nine big man. Like if you're making a six nine big man, he's most likely gonna be at the small four. Or if you're making a power four, I've really only seen a couple power four at six nine. More than likely, they're making them like six ten at the at the lowest. So yeah, um, that's going to be the best contact dunk for big men. All right, next I got you guys with the best post phase in the game. So fade two, fade three, fade four. You can't go wrong with any of the three. Fade four is more like the the Jordan Kobe fade. Fade three is really really easy to green. And fade two is like the really really good one that's really really hard to contest but you can get the test on it you can get like a very early and it's still going in so yeah those are the three best post fades in the game all right next i got you guys with the best hook shots in the game so we got hook three and hook five hook five is the one that's going to be really really high hook three is going to be the one that's really really slow and really really hard to contest because of how slow it is so yeah with that being said man you can't go wrong with any of these two all right next i got you guys with the best post hop shots in the game so we got post hop shot seven and post hop shot ten you can't go wrong with either of the two one is really really quick one is going to be getting more distance it depends on which one you really more worried about do you want to be able to create enough space because you have a slower like you don't have a high quick draw or do you just really want to be able to get a quick one off so that you can get it off really really quick it really depends on which one you really rather but yeah man these are the two best post hop shots in the game all right next i got you guys with the best post shimmy phase in the game now this shimmy fade in particular reminds me a lot of kobe and mj with how they be really trying to do those fades so yeah man this is the one i use really really actually really really works it actually works like shimmy shimmy hooks may not be the move but shimmy fades definitely work especially if you put on shimmy fade 11. all right next is going to be the best shimmy hook in the game shimmy hook 2 is the best shimmy hook in the game there's not really too much to choose from on the hooks because the hook's not really the craziest thing in the game if you're doing a hook you're most likely just gonna do a regular hook but the best shimmy hook in the game is shimmy hook 2. all right next is going to be the best dribble animations for the big man animations is going to be starting at dribble style so the best dribble style for big men is going to be paul george the best size of package for big men is definitely going to be normal four normal four is just a really really good one when it comes to be able to dribble you can do side step size ups with it very very good balance size of package for big men um next is going to be the moving crossovers it's a lot of big men that like try to use these builds like well-rounded fives and try to dribble playmaking fives playmaking fours so if you really want to do that go ahead and put on number one but if you're not really worried about the dribbling normal three is the best one you can kind of do a kind of semi dribble glitch with it and yeah you really can't go wrong with either of the two depending on what play style you're trying to play all right next is the best behind the back in the game by far the best moving behind the back in the game for big men is normal two all right next the best moving spin in the game for big men is moving spin normal six the best moving hesitation for big men is normal three normal three is a is a hezzy that's been used in 2k for years 2k 15 16 17 17 was the year they patched it they brought it back this year or last year and yeah man it's actually kind of wild that how good it is now a lot of people don't use it because they want to be able to do quick stops and stuff like that but yeah normal three is actually really really good hesitation not even just for big men but yeah 
Big Man obviously can't use the pros, so they would use normal three. And last but not least for the dribbling animations for the Big Man, the best triple threat style for Big Man is definitely hands down normal four. You're gonna be able to do the one hand, pump fakes, size ups out of stuff. You're gonna be able to do literally the rhythm dribble out of it and all that combines to be the best triple threat style for Big Man. All right, next I got you guys with the best layer package for Big Man. The best layer package in the game for anyone is Long Athlete. And a lot of Big Men can get that because all you need is a 70 driving layer. But I want to go over this because this is going to be the last time I'm going over animations for NBA 2K20. And that's going to be dominant big. Now, to be able to get this, you do have to have an 80 driving layer. And that's very, very hard to come by for Big Men because as you go up in height, your driving layer goes down a lot. But with that being said, man, Dominant big is just a really, really big deal, man. Like, like when it comes to the cl the clear outs that you get on this joint, man, it's like you have takeover at all times. It's just so overpowered with how easy it is to score with this. So yeah, man, it had to, it has to be in this video for the one time. But yeah, dominant big, arguably the best big man layer package in the game. I would still say long athlete is better because how easy it is to hop step and stuff like that. So if you want to use a build like. An interior finisher, I can see you saying that's better, but still, dominant big. If you want to do clear outs or not clear outs, but yeah, clear outs. If you want to be able to do that without having takeover, go ahead and put on dominant big. And all right, as this video is coming to a close, we got only two more things to go over. First thing we're going to go over is the best part flashy pass. The best part flashy pass in the game, hands down, is swagger. It's kind of like how normal 19 is the best hop jumper in the game, in my opinion, because of how versatile it is. Flashy passer, if I'm going for like a flashy pass, I don't want to do the same animation every single time. I want a variety. I want to be able to do something different every single time. And that's what flashy pass swagger does. It has literally so many, so many different animations in this one package that compared to the other ones, it's just by far the best. So yeah, man, the best flashy pass in the game is swagger. And then last but not least, actually might be the least important thing in the video, but the best park flop in the game is the one or unbelievable or lol it really depends on which one you're really going for i like to use the one because if i'm flopping i want to be able to flop at any time and i'm gonna get right back up it's the quickest flop in the game so that's why i like it then you got unbelievable and lol that's really really long but you can really make the possession take that much longer i like to do these at the end of like shot clocks to make stuff take long just to be petty you know what i'm saying sometimes you can just want to be petty you know what i'm saying so yeah um those are the best park flops in the game but yeah man that's gonna be pretty much the end of the video i went over a lot in this video i gave you guys the best jump shot the best free throw the best jump shot landing the best shot creator animations from the best dribble pull up the best hop jumper the best spin jumper the best dunk animations the best alley-oop the best contact dunk the best park alley-oop the best park dunk the best layup the best park layup i went over a lot man like i'm still going bro i even gave you guys literally the best dribble style size up package crossover and all the best animations and then, and then i went over all that again for the best big man animations and in that i even went over a new thing the best post square animations and i even gave y'all another jump shot for big man so yeah man for that alone please just go ahead leave a like on this video if you enjoy subscribe if you are new we do this every single day man we're gonna be going even crazier than we did in 2k20 on 2k21 so stay tuned for that but i do appreciate all the support and love y'all showed me the entire year on nba 2k20 but it's been a crazy year of growth and that's really the key word growth but yeah man um like i said leave a like on the video if you enjoy subscribe if you new, we got more videos coming out and share this video for sure share this video to anybody you think this will help man this is gonna be the last time i update you guys on the best animations for the entire year but yeah man um i'm gonna try to start uploading more NBA 2K21 news videos for y'all boys. Um, I'm still gonna be uploading builds because I know that's what y'all like from me. But yeah, man, um, that's gonna be pretty much it, man. Like I said, leave a like, subscribe. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fitz, man. Ain't about to be, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah. Head in the clouds, walk through the city, they taking you out. Bitches be talking, they running, they bout. A bag in the back and a stick in the car. You know what it's about. Had to cope with all the pain, so I'm about to die. Amen. Uh, they say he going too fast.